All right, so we're in a camera. Um, so now let's just do some individual lighting. So I'll go to this right here, uh, area light. I'll raise this up, bring this back. I'll put this out here. Let's have them facing. And if we get in our camera, let's just see what this looks like. Let me turn it down just a touch. Okay, I don't mind it, but let me get some temperature in there. So remember, if we turn it over here. It's too hot. a little bit more. Okay, I like it, right? So, let's slide and see, All right? Click, we'll duplicate this. Put the other one about right here. And this is just to give it a little bit of contrast, so one will be like cool. And one will be hot. Get a little bit more cooler. And I could use the, um, the color, but I just like doing it with, uh, with the color temperature. Liking it, make it a little bit hotter. All right, I like it. So double click, we'll do backdrop. And then this will go on here. Good color. Hmm. Nice. And remember, right now I want to make it a little bit more reflective. So I'll go here, I'll click on remove, I'll go to add, we'll do back and we can kind of take this down this layer to give a little bit more glossy look I like the lights but I'm gonna copy Control click. Now just move this one to face it. Like that. Take this down to 46. All right. And I'll do the same thing with this one. Control click. All right. 
gonna take this right here. 46. Cool, let's get in our camera. Check it out. And what we'll also have is another one of these. Should have, yeah, see? Cool. Now let's get ourselves an HDRI, top it off. HD, HDRI, and then we'll click off reflectance, click off of this, we'll go to luminance, we'll click on this, and we'll give ourselves a HDRI. So it said I got a collection of these. We'll go in, HDRI, so I got a whole bunch of them. Y'all know where to get them from. Hey, let's go look at this. All right, let's go get our good old Shanghai. So we can see what it is. Go get ourselves a sky. Put this in the sky. And let's see what we got. Most of it's coming together. Now let me get up my camera, just do a little quick uh, thing with this text real fast. So I'm just gonna take it off. Well, no, wait, wait, get this. I'm just gonna pull it back here. Up here. Bring it in. And then I'll make it float a little bit, All right? Go right here. Right here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I meant to click this. that just to do it I think I nudged my camera I probably did And then we can make these both with these guys just slide in if we want to. So let's just do that too. So at 20, I'm clicking on Chris. Ah, I keep pressing S. That's um, keyframe for Maya. Um, so click right here. I'll click on this. That's on 20. I'll click on the will and 20. Um, if I click on zero, Let's take them out of here. Click on this. Same for Chris Rock. We'll take them out of here. All right. Nice. All right. So now let's say I want to render this out and I want this to be on video. I just click on this right here and I go to output and then I go to save instead of TIFF, I go to MP4 and then I click on here for the file and let me see. It's typed in Chris versus Will. It's on MP4. And you have to do this. 
this output. Yes, yeah, this one right here, right? So you do um, all frames, or you can do preview range. So it goes zero to 90, I can do that, or whatever, right? So what I'm gonna do now is close this down. Now, if I want it to render, I click on this, and what's gonna happen is, is this gonna render out a movie, it's gonna have all these frames, and then you can uh, save it at the end. And to save it, you just go over here, file, save, and you'll be able to save your movie. See, so like right here, this is it. And when it's done, well, yeah, I, when it's done, it should be here, but I don't know. Sometimes I just, I'll save it anyway. But what's nice about it is, is it gives you like a preview right away. Now there's a lot of noise in this right now. So if you want it to not be so noisy, what you would do is um, you would adjust the, the settings. And the settings are right here. Well, you know what? I just might as well stop this, right? stop it yes i want to stop it but you go right here and you go into the the physical tab right now it says simple quality lead low but if you put it on medium or high you'll see that it has a different um look so if i go right here back to save no way output and i just do current frame just to show you three different renders. Um, yeah, I went over it. All right. So right now, this is the... Um, which one is this? This is... This is low, right? So we see the noise right here. So this is low. And if we were to put it on... Um, oh, I messed up medium let's just see what this looks like and what's going to happen is it's going to take longer but this is this type of thing i do when i'm asleep you know so i don't ever really do it um uh well sit there and expect for it to you know render out while i'm awake basically because i'll put it on high quality settings but you always want to test it just to see But it's going to take longer, and you'll see the time right here. And now if I go back and forth, you see what it looks like, right? So this is on low settings, and it's just to get a quick, fast idea of what it's supposed to look like. But if we amp it up, we see what it's looking like on uh, medium, and then just to see what it looks like on high. What it is is this, it's the subdivisions. Think about it almost like a uh, like a cylinder with uh, less subdivisions. You see the, the jagged edge, All right? The more subdivisions, the cleaner it is. And subdivisions have to do with um, how the pixels are uh, dealt with. So this one has big pixels, but when we subdivide, it's, it's a whole, I'm not gonna say it's science necessarily, but just think about it as quality control more subdivisions better but also you want to know what you're doing because you don't want to crank it up too high to unnecessarily uh high high uh settings because the higher this is the the longer it's going to take as you can see look at this 18 49 this might be um i don't know a minute 20 but the thing is, it's the cleanliness, the noise is gone, the artifacts are gone. But all you got to do is click on this just to see like what low, medium, high will look like. So if we go to low, look, two and zero. So that means a minimum of two and zero on the max, medium, four and two. And then high was six and four. So if you took this up to like eight and six, you're just gonna get even more cleaner, you know? 
She's still not done yet. But the thing is, you do this while you're asleep. It takes two minutes to frame or three. That's it. You can have a really clean uh, result in the end. That's what it's about, you know. So almost there, but you can already see the the difference in the quality. Amazing. All right. And our reflections are looking smooth and everything's looking nice and, and clear. Yeah, so it's basically on low just for previews, just for fast feedback, just like the viewport doesn't really show everything. It's just for fast feedback. But yeah, this is real nice and smooth. We have the nice reflections. And then in the end, when we render this, we'll have a nice video file. And then we can end it and move on to something else cool. And that's it.